Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We have started a new series about movies reviews, in which we will tell you about movies, what's good and bad in this movie. Today we will talk about the best new movies out right now. Thanks to the persistence of COVID-19 pandemic 2020 has been noticeably light when it's come to new films. With theaters around the country being closed, major studios have opened to delay the majority of their major releases either until the last few months of the year or until 2021 and unfortunately, it has had the side effects of creating a particular hunger among cinephiles. The silver lining is that we live in an age when streaming services, access and premium VOD releases are possible and as a result there have been a number of titles in recent weeks that have been successfully satiating our appetites including some excellent movies out right now. Obviously not every release has been pretty well but if you have been wondering what to watch that's both good and new, we have you covered. Looking back at the last month or see we have compiled a list of the best of the fresh stuff out right now providing entertainment for a wide variety of audiences. Like Martin Scorsese and Alfonso, Corin before him, Calvary Kaufman is the latest esteemed filmmaker to find a home for his work on the world's most popular streaming service. It's certainly a prestigious title for Netflix so while you have probably been hearing a lot about it recently. You should expect that there will be plenty of reminders of its greatness as we get deeper into award season. First, Janet, John David Washington, Robert Pattinson and Kenneth Branagh. In his review of Christopher Nolan's Teenage Hour on scene, O'Connell delivers the film's five star and notes admiration both for it being engaging and a balancing act of turns calling it a mind-blowing spectacle, a hold on by your fingernails real red, with Subtle touches of it, romance, suspense, tragedy, determination, and cinema driven all woven throughout it. On number 2, Bill and Tate face the music, Nino Rivas, Alex Winter, and Samara Weaving. It took nearly three decades for it to get the green light, but to an episodology, Capra Bill and Tate face the music is really real and now ready for your viewing pleasure. Following up on the adventures from the late 1980s and 1990s, the film finds that its tutorial heroes Kenny Reeves and Alex Winter still haven't lived up to their fated potentials as rockers who inspire world peace. Tired of their magical lives, they come up with the ideas of trying to steal the song from their future sleeves, and another wild time travel story begins. On number 3, Claws Action Park, Chris Gathard and Alison Beaker. What would happen? If there was a water park that A explored wild ideas for new rides and B wasn't big on enforcing rules. Well, two things, kids would have fun and a lot of people will get hurt. We know this because it isn't really a fantastic situation but instead the story behind the notorious action park, assuming park formerly located in Vernon, New Jersey. Directors Seth Porges and Chris Charles Scott three documentary chronicles the rise and fall of the business which is at time hilarious and heartbreaking. On number 4, Power Project, Joseph Gordon, Love with Jamie Foxx and Dominic U. Fishback. With both Marvel and DC blockbuster like Black Widow and Wonder Woman 1984 being pushed because of the pandemic. It's understandable if you are having some superhero movies with trolls, but the good news is that Henry Jude and Errol Schoolman project power is available to tide you over. It doesn't quite have the scale of a big blockbuster, but it does have a great cast led by Joseph Gordon, Lavish Jamie Foxx and Tomini Q Fishback, and a great plot device is a Turing that gives users a specific superpower for 5 minutes. On number 5, the one and only Owen, Brand, Cronston, Sam Rockwell, and Brooklyn Prince. You know a film is sweet when it's able to tell a story that doesn't feature any kind of clear villain, and that's really the perfect world for Tia Sharok, the one and only Owen. Skipping standard circus troops, the film centers on the performing gorilla named Owen voiced by Sam Rockwell, who is inspired by the arrival of a body baby elephant, Brooklyn Prince, to seek his freedom. It's definitely a tear jerker for any and all animal lovers, so be sure to have tissues handily. Dear viewers, do you have recommendations of your own? Have you seen any of this film mentioned in this feature and process about recording your personal perception of their quality? 
Let yourself be heard in the comment section and as always be sure to stay tuned here on Movies on Screen for all of the latest news regarding new releases in Hollywood. Our goal to introduce you every Hollywood movie and English TV series. We express your opinion in comments below and let us know how you like our videos. If you have liked our video then press the below like button and encourage us. Thanks for watching.